Hello all. So we're going to be looking at um, the AMP envelope and modulation in today's uh, little tutorial video. So I'm starting with a square wave. On the uh, oscilloscope, I'm just going to change the time. Okay, so at the, currently you can see the actual waveform, but I want to see it zoom out a little bit more. So if I move this, you can see um, the sound, but we can't see the individual waves. We just get an overall visualization of the kind of shape of the sound. Um, I'm just going to turn on uh, the filter to take out some of the more harsh frequencies. So this is what it would sound like. Okay, so what we're looking at in, in, with the amp envelope is um, modulating or m creating movement with the amplifier. So the amplifier section um, amplifies everything and gives us our overall signal. Okay, in alchemy it's called the master section. So we've got the master volume here. So when you want to modulate anything, if you click on the control that you want to modulate, okay, which is often referred to as the modulation target, okay, it lights up with this light blue colour. And we can do it with pretty much any control in the whole of the synthesizer. So very, very powerful synthesizer. And you'll f automatically find that the, the master volume has two modulation um, sources. So the first one is AHDSR1, okay, which refers to this envelope over here. And we've got different modulation sources that we can scroll through, but we're going to be focusing on the amp envelope today. So you can see that um, we've got a one here, so it's always the, the first envelope. Okay. And the depth is automatically assigned for us too. We also have a assignment to velocity. So this refers to how hard we hit the keyboard. I've got the depth turned all the way down um, for the sakes of this demonstration because I want the um, I want it to be a consistent volume depending on how how it doesn't matter basically how hard I hit the key, it's still gonna be the same volume. So, um, right, so going into AHDSR, okay, so the letters stand for um, different stages within the envelope. So we've got the attack stage. So this is how long it takes the sound from you initially pressing down the key for it to reach its a maximum amplitude level. So at the moment, it's almost instantaneous because it's set right down at zero. So let's have a look in the oscilloscope what this looks like. Okay, there's no hold. Okay, what hold does is it will sustain the attack level um, until we hit the decay portion. So attack is a measure of time and hold is a measure of time. Decay is the time it takes um, after the hold section for it, uh, the sound to reduce in level until it hits a certain steady level, which is the sustain level. So at the moment, this is turned right the way up. Okay. Um, so we're going to get quite a loud overall sound. Um, so if I just turn that down, you can see that when it, the, the level's ongoing, it's quite quiet. But if we turn it right up, we get a much louder sound. And then the release section is again a measurement of time. Okay, so essentially, it's how long um, it will take for the, the sound to return to, to zero dB after we release the key. So, 
just to give you some different examples. And also, you can see when I play a, a note here, I can uh, I can freeze the scope. You can see at the moment the kind of attack portion almost goes straight up, so it, it kind of mirrors what we've got over here. And we've got this kind of squared off loud sustain area, okay? And then we've got our release. So you can see that that was the point that I released the key and there it goes back down to, to zero. Um, I'm gonna make something, a very, very kind of basic kind of synth string sound, okay? Um, just to demonstrate though some of the other things you can do. So if we were to turn the sustain right down and the decay up a little bit, okay, we can start to get towards kind of plucky sounds, particularly if we put the release up. And it's got that a doorbell type quality. If we turn the hold up though, um, it will change it somewhat. Okay. But I'm going to turn the hold down, put the decay back at about 12, turn the sustain all the way back up, but I'm going to have a longer release and longer attack time. Okay, what's interesting to know and really helpful for helping understanding is when we uh, set modulation, there's a little white dot uh, and um, you'll see it move around the modulation target. So in this case, it's the master volume. And that shows exactly um, where the control is being moved to by the modulation source. So in this case, AHDSR1. Okay, so when I play that, if you look over here, you, you can see the little white dots move, okay? So it can be really, really helpful. And just to show you what this waveform looks like in the scope, so we can see that very gradual tailing off and that slower attack. Okay, so that should give you an idea. Um, thank you for listening and I hope you found this helpful.